Okay, in this video, I'm going to try to do my best to show you how to get the Black Magic camera working, uh, recording. So, uh, here it is on its tripod in all of its glory. So, you gotta hop up here. There we go. Here's the camera. So, on the top of the camera, right here, right here, we have the power button. So, you flick it to on. Okay. Then the camera powers on. Now, first thing you want to make sure is on the side here. Oh, it's hard to hold the camera and do it at the same time. The side panel slides back and pops open. You want to make sure that you have a card in there. You'll notice on the screen here it says one no card, two no card. But when you put the SD card in, All of a sudden, it says we have 100 minutes recording time available. One thing to just make sure is make sure you have the SD card that has the two layers. It's it needs those. It needs to be the fast. What's it called here? Uh, UHS to at least to be able to record uh, the definition that it needs to record in. Okay, once you got that clicked in, you actually don't even have to close this. You can just leave it open because it, it'll work with it open. Okay, so if you click this, boop. Uh, it's important when you're recording that you start with a formatted SD card, so just make sure you've taken what you need off of the SD card, which we have. So we'll hold format, and then you have to hold it for three seconds. Three, two, one, bloop, and it formats the card, and then you're good to go to record. So a couple things to keep in mind about how to use this camera's basic functionality. Okay, it's recorded. Okay, so first things first. The record button is this red button on the front top of the camera here. You press this and it will record. You can also press this and it will record. It's the same button. So the red circle button records. Um, okay. We also have uh, these buttons on the top of the camera and they do different things. So the first button here, we have it programmed to do focus assist. And that means that anything that is red is in focus. Uh, the second thing, the second button that we have here is just a little framing assist where you're trying to make things look pretty. Uh, you want to do rule of thirds, so you want to place your subjects uh, on the thirds. And then the, the last one is an overexposure notice. Uh, it's like a zebra, so I'll just demonstrate here how to do uh, what that looks like if it's overexposed. So you can see here we got our ISO set too high and anything that's a zebra doing this zebra effect means that it's just going to be blown out as white. So you'll have to adjust the ISO as needed uh, to the zebra effects disappear. So, for example, if Rod is wearing a white shirt, uh, the stage might look real nice, but it'll be completely blown out. Okay, other things to keep in mind on the lens. This lens, there are two rings. This first ring is your focus. Your second ring here is your zoom. So first ring is the focus and you can see it's going in and out of focus, okay? And then the second ring is the zoom. You can see we're zooming in and out. Okay, so we're gonna use focus assist, which is the first one here, bloop, to bring this into focus. And when it's in focus, it'll be red. So you can see how the red sweeps. Okay, let's try to make that he is risen in focus. Another thing you can do is on this side, there's a little button here that zooms in. Then you can really see if it's in focus and it's looking pretty nice. Turn that focus assist on uh, and we'll just dial it in. Looks good. Bring that back out. So we already went over the ISO. That kind of uh, is your exposure, how much you want that to be exposed or not. You also have white balance, shutter, iris, etc. But that's a little bit more advanced. The one thing that I will say is this. You want to make sure that your audio input is recorded properly. And I did a different video on how to make sure audio is getting to the Blackmagic camera. So you press this little button here. It brings up your menu and you click the audio 
and you'll see these meters. So right now, both of our inputs are set to be XLR so that both channel left and channel right are recording directly from the soundboard, the XLR, uh, this little input right here, bloop, 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 which runs to a matrix out. And I already did a video on how to make that work. So if you have uh, it turned on properly, this meter will spike. And just to show you what that looks like, I'll change this really quickly to the, the built-in microphone on the camera. So you can see that it is hearing me snap. The microphone in this camera is right here. It's not a very good mic, which is why we just use the direct XLR mic in. Excellent. One last thing I'll just say, my arms are getting a little tired. So you hit record, bloop. And the way that you can tell that it's recording is you can see that there is a countdown and it's red and it counts down and then you can see that this uh, card is engaged as well so hit stop there you go and if you want to watch the video you hit uh, on this corner play play and then you can see it and you press play it'll play back excellent okay and then when you're done uh, watching your playback, you hit the record button up here and it'll kick you back out to the screen. Once you're done recording your video, just make sure you hit that power button off and then you're good to go. And that is how you use the camera in a very basic manner.